hey guys and welcome back to another video so in this video we are uh, moving on with our lightning web components so this is our second video related to lightning web components and today we would be understanding about conditional rendering what is conditional rendering and how we could achieve that and where we could use that okay so let's get started with that guys so till now what we have learnt is we have learned how your html and your javascript are both interlinked with each other so using that property we would uh, be creating certain conditions on which we would be rendering our data so for example what am i doing is div so there is a uh, rendering tag like if true and here you are to expect a value and that value we are dynamically passing from our javascript so this variable would be a result okay and i have to create this variable in my javascript as well so first let me complete this and div if false is the same result okay and now what in this is a boolean variable so first of all we would be doing a result is false okay so it would be going in here so let me show you out on this p tag if result is true and in this if result is false okay and uh, uh, we would also be styling this p tag so we would be doing font size would be 20 pixels okay and so let me just run this so deploying source to org how you could deploy is uh, deploy the source to org or you could do control shift p and as f dx deploy this source to org you could use this or uh, as in the previous video we have stated about uh, the key binding you could uh, use that as well so moving over to our salesforce so this was the app that we created let us refresh so see guys uh, let us save this come back so if result is false and if we do result is true so yeah uh, you get that correct uh, result is uh, result would be in the true condition so go to the edit page if uh, result is true see if result is true okay so now what uh, how did we uh, how can we manage this likes for example say in here I am showing my loading screen and in here I would be showing welcome to programming made easy okay so uh, guys uh, we created this result variable and we should use this correctly so uh, there is a life cycle hook that we would be using in this video but don't worry guys in this video you just understand what is going on we would be talking about these hooks in the later stage so i am exposing you to another uh, thing that is a connected callback so this is a life cycle hook of your lightning web components we would be talking in this later and in this connected callback i would be using a set timeout so in javascript developers you are aware of what is a set timeout and what it takes is the arrow function and in this i am doing this dot a result is in my result i would be printing false and i would be doing this dot result is true and after uh, after let us say 
three seconds that is 3000 milliseconds so let us deploy the source to org guys so see guys loading screen is coming and after that welcome to programming made easy have been auto populated what happened is after three seconds this value changed and it came into this so now we would be talking about some real life example or a LWC kind of example this was just a basic approach uh, let us say first of all needs to remove these things uh, we would be creating a uh, property that uh, we would be using is lightning card so lightning card is the abbreviation you could use this one so in there it is a lot of things but for now you might not get confused so uh, what we would be doing is we would be removing the button and the p tags from this lightning card and the name of this card would be conditional rendering and the icon name should is standard account so account icon uh, would be visible in here so uh, for example if you want to get a list of icons you could do is uh, icons lwc and going over to the first link these are your list of icons guys you could use any items like utility doc type standard custom say for example i want to use a custom icon so i would be using this like custom 14 custom 15 i would be say for example using this so i would be naming item name as uh, custom 14 and this is a custom icon because we went into the custom category if it had been standard so what we had uh, done is standard colon agent home understood and this is the variant for now let uh, us forget about this so this is our lightning card how it will look let us see that first because people are confused that how things work and uh, uh, under the hood so I just want to make them clear step by step understood this was the uh, name title and this is the icon that we chose understood guys in this what we are doing first of all uh, in this I want I want a input type of checkbox so we could do LWC colon input so it auto populates and in this we could do checkbox variant standard uh, and the name should be name and the label that is to be displayed is uh, view terms and conditions and we should remove this placeholder so this was your lightning input type checkbox so let us see how this looks since these are the starting videos so that's why I am pressurizing over the things so uh, view terms and conditions and with a checkbox okay and uh, now what I want is uh, in this checkbox I want to have a event that is a function I want to call a function from here so I would be doing on change would be the function and in this I would be passing a dynamic function handle change and since this is a dynamic function so this needs to be created in here guys okay and handle change is passing an event okay and um, we would be taking a variable result equal to false and in here I would be doing p tag uh, and what I would be writing in my p tag is uh, view terms and conditions uh, subscribe 
subscribe to our channel okay and another condition would be like this video okay so uh, what I want is I want to keep uh, in these things in a div so and for this div I would be doing div if true should be my result okay and uh, so uh, this would be find when my result would be true but now our result is false see the result is false so what uh, needs to be done is uh, I want is this dot uh, uh, result uh, would be event dot target dot checked okay what does it do is uh, this returns event dot target dot checked returns a boolean variable and checked if it is checked so it would return true if it is unchecked it would return false let us check then moving back to our org guys in the dev edit page save the things so let us check on view terms and conditions subscribe to our channel and like this video was our terms and conditions if we remove this our data is gone if we uh, click this our data is visible to us so uh, this was the conditional rendering guys i hope you understood this video and if you have any doubt uh, related to this video and or um, prior videos uh, regarding salesforce you could comment down below thank you and do subscribe to the channel